Hi there, Libra. This is Tanya Lee of Harmonia Tarot, and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of May. If you are new to this channel and feel guided, make sure you hit subscribe, hit that bell twice so that you can be notified of all future updates. And as a reminder, guys, this is a general reading, meaning it's not going to resonate with every single soul that's out there. So take what resonates, leave the rest, always utilize your own intuition. Do not force anything to fit. If it doesn't fit, it just means it's not for you, okay? And if you want something more private and personable or it did resonate, <clears throat> just go into the description box below. All of my information is there to book a private reading with me. All right, we're going to get into some oracle cards before we get into the tarot spread, which is the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month with some validation cards and healing messages at the end. Just a reminder, guys. <clears throat> As with um, them all, time is fluid, okay? So some of this may have happened already. I know that I'm posting this a little bit earlier um, than May, but others of you, this is going to happen a little bit down the road, or some of it can be happening now, okay? Utilize your own intuition, as I said before. All right, here we go, Libra, calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages that we need to hear for the month of May. What do you need to know? What do you need to know this month? Whoop, here we go. How can I deepen my trust right now? How can I deepen my trust right now? Trust, surrender, let go of the wheel. You can trust. You can trust yourself. Trust fully in yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others. Trust creates safety, and when we feel safe, we feel unstoppable. Today's action is let go and trust. Today, find your center in the chaos and certain within yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others. <clears throat> there's definitely this feeling of you know <sighs> this is all not just about trusting others but this is about trusting you too trusting your own intuition following your intuition Let's see what other messages we have on this the healer of the ages 51 healer of the ages it comes to a six which is balance Man, some of, and this feels, I feel very strongly for a lot of you, um, this, this might resonate with, is that I feel that you are stepping in your power. Some of you may be healers, some of you may be readers like myself, but this is about stepping in your power, manifesting something, realizing that you, uh, you know, you have the worth. Others of you, you are deepening your trust into the all-knowing, right? Into the universe here, Okay. Being enlightened. Let's see what animal spirit is here with you. What animal spirit is with Libra. Here we go. The cat spirit. Ooh, another sign got this. Can't remember off the top of my head. But it's claim your independence. Claim your independence. One thing to know about a cat is they're very different than a dog, right? Where, not that the loyalty doesn't um, apply to cats as well, because there, there can be cats that are loyal, but this is the essence of <clears throat> being able to do something on your own, coming to your own terms, right? Setting yourself apart. Some of you are struggling to trust that you're good enough good enough to be a healer, good enough to start something that is new. Others of you, it's about claiming your independence within a relationship. If you're not leaving somebody, this is trusting somebody new, but we'll see what the tarot cards say, which one it resonates the most with. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Let's see what messages we have for Libra. Here we go. Starting off with the High Priestess, man, I'm telling you, a lot of you are just an intuitive soul here. The Seven of Swords is reversed next to Death, which is basically transformation, and the Ten of Wands, interesting, that's beginning of the month. The middle of the month, we have the King of Swords reversed, the Four of Wands reversed, the Six of Swords reversed, and the Tower. Hmm. Towards the end of the month, we have the Knight of Swords reversed, the Five of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Eight of Cups reversed. Overall energy is the Hangman or Hangwoman reversed, okay? <laughs> these, these, these cards are a little bit different. 
So here's the thing. With this reverse, this is the energy of coming out of your cocoon, okay? Evolving. You're not you're not sitting there stand still in this now. Now I feel like you guys are coming out. There is there is definitely communication that is coming your way. Um, a lot of you have been sitting in your power and aware of this communication, okay? I feel like with this high priestess, you have somebody here too who is watching you, observing you, observing you in your power. This person um, could have come off with the Seven of Swords energy here as a little bit, um, you know, they might have seen you as this too, okay? Because this is your energy. <clears throat> but I feel like if you... If you weren't truthful to somebody, and I'm not going to say truthful. Truthful is not the right word. If you were hiding, because this is all about, you know, you know, see the moon energy and she's holding all those swords, but there's a relationship here. So this definitely feels like something in regards to a relationship. Does not necessarily have to be love, okay? But this is a relationship for many of you. This is about you were burdened by not being able to, you see how she's holding those swords? Not very comfortable, okay? Okay. I feel like you weren't able to speak your truth, okay? And there's a trust thing here, all right? You could have not been trusting your own intuition at one point, all right? Not following your guidance, not feeling like you were good enough, okay? There is something that has absolutely shift on you, transform, because this, this reminds me of a cocoon here, okay? Transform, transformation that is happening for you. Look at this. You have death right next to the Seven of Swords reverse. No more sneakiness, no more hiding yourself. This is about being enlightened, awoken up. Look at the sun coming out of you or the radiation of that light. This is a transformation. The old version of you, it's like you're shedding. You're like shedding the skin, okay? <clears throat> you might have been dealing with a fire sign here. So Sar <clears throat> Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. I almost put, I had tongue-tied myself and said Ceres. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny, but with a ten of wands, that's feeling burden, right? <clears throat> I think you had a lot of burdens before trying to claim some kind of independence, individuality here. Okay, this almost feels the level of having having trust in a in an individual. Okay, this person might have been a little bit a little bit egotistical, somebody who. Um, has a way of they don't understand what they can't see okay that's what it is Libra they don't understand what they can't see this is somebody who's very logical here okay <clears throat> we have um, the king of swords reverse underneath the high priestess even though this is your own energy I feel like you are dealing with an individual who is being a little bit more open-minded to you being intuitive okay maybe you haven't opened up about your skills and this, this does definitely feel like gifts um, the Four of Wands reversed with next to the King of Swords. Now, Four of Wands is the happiest family card you can get, right? This is happiness. This is having an open heart, being ready to receive anything that is abundant going towards it. With the reverse, I don't feel like this is ending. I feel like there was a stop in this relationship. Maybe it wasn't going too far. It could have been that um, there was some kind of rift. Like I said, this person has to see things to understand it. There's some kind of reconciliation. When I see the Four of Wands, this is about reconciling, okay? The Six of Swords is right next to it, too. So this is about returning. Like, to me, this is about leaving baggage behind and going on to something new, transformation. There is something in this transformation that is actually having you return. Um... <clears throat> This reconciliation or this returning might come in, into you, come to you as a surprise. It actually could seem like a little bit overwhelming here, okay? I don't think you even expect this person to be open to the idea that they actually really support you in a huge way. This is, you know, when, when, and I have to go back to this card here now. How can I deepen my trust right now? Let go of the wheel. You can trust. You can trust yourself. Trust fully in yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others. So that you can deepen your trust in others. You did not feel, it says, truly create safe. And when we feel safe, we feel unstoppable. There was something that did not make you feel like you could be yourself with this individual or really tell them what you were going through. A lot of you, this is opening up your gifts, okay? When I say gifts, I'm talking about psychic development gifts. 
being awoken to things that maybe are not tangible, but you don't have anyone to express it to, or when you did express it, they kind of threw it in the way when or were egotistical about it, all right? It might have made you closed off. It really did create a, even though you were going through the transformation of shedding it and, and starting to trust yourself, claiming that cat spirit of that independence, it, there was burden here, okay? And I feel the burden is like, you know, you just want to, like, you're feeling so much, okay? Now, that King of Swords that I said that is is letting go of the logical side, maybe being a little bit cold-hearted here, they are being open-minded. This is somebody who is realizing your worth here, okay? I don't think you're expecting this communication of going back um, to discuss what was heavy on your mind. And that actually creates the tower event here, okay? The tower is about getting rid, getting rid of this, okay? And what's interesting is that you have a, you got a female here and the kind of the devil card here, okay? I think there's some toxicities in here, obviously. Um, where you didn't trust somebody or it was just the level of having negative thoughts We have the knight of swords right underneath the knight of <clears throat> the king of swords both are reversed looking at the five of swords listen There there this person at one point and I know this is your energy, uh, Libra. So you might be, if it's not a fire sign, you might be dealing with another air sign. This is somebody who was a little bit arrogant, okay? Came in harsh with their words. Somebody who had harsh things to say. They are realizing it now. They are realizing it in a big way. Look how they're facing this, okay? They are totally facing this. They're facing this Knight of Swords that was away of their past actions, because this is reverse. So I do feel like, this is the card of ego, this is the part of getting somebody getting hurt. Look how the woman's behind standing in her power, even though her swords are down, kind of closed off with the communication. There's communication that is coming. They are so aware of the lack of communication, of the lack of trust, because they, they feel it. They feel that you feel unsafe, that you can't talk to them. But the Nine of Cups is here next to the Eight of Cups reversed. So this person does not want you to walk away. I feel that strongly, okay? And I think it's because, and, and, and it might be you, it might be you, but it does definitely feels like with the Nine of Cups here, because this is about wish fulfillment. This is about an emotional offer here. The Eight of Cups is about walking away from that emotional offer, okay? It's kind of going from a nine to an eight. But this is reversed. This person doesn't want this to happen. They might see you, they might actually fear that you're walking away because you've been so closed off or that you're not trusting them. That could be it because you just were like, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be talking about it anymore. All right, let's see what the validation card's here. But you're definitely transforming, you're transforming. And I don't think you expect that this person actually wants to reconcile and talk about this. <clears throat> this is a very specific reading. <laughs> Usually I have generally more messages, but this this feels like this independence that you're claiming is basically stepping into your life, doing doing what makes you you know feel good. Three of Wands. We have wow. We have the Knight of Cups. We have <laughs> we have the High Priestess again, again, again the High Priestess and. The King of Wands. Like I said, you might be dealing with a fire sign here, okay? That knows that they've been harsh with their words, all right? Here's the foundation. Somebody looking out at the foundation. This could be you too, evaluating it, evaluating, um, you know, waiting, you know, waiting maybe for something, intuitively knowing. Um, now, here's the thing. This night is in the night. It's not during the day going in here. They're walking into the night. They're walking into that moon energy, all right? They're walking towards the high priestess. They're walking towards the high priestess. This, to me, is somebody who is letting go of that king of swords energy, being logical, needing tangible evidence, wanting to give an emotional offer to support you no matter what. They don't care about anything other than that they want to give you a cup of love, all right? Leading with the King of Wands here, someone who is passionate, who is driven, changes from being a little bit cold and strategic, is creative as well, but there's a lot of passion here. This, this 
um, this is a very specific reading and usually I have more general messages, but this feels to me where somebody has a really strong emotional cup coming to somebody who is extremely intuitive, right? Um, and this person really loves them. I mean, they, they really, they really, look at this. Look at this High Priestess card. Do you see how she's drawing a picture? They're admiring this individual. I don't think, they don't like the fact that you didn't trust them. They want you to be open up. They want you to be yourself. They want you to believe in yourself. They want to, they want to see this transformation. They don't want you to walk away. Or, you know, they don't want you to think that they walked away, that it's you. Maybe they're closed off or doing something because they've been closed off in their own head. Let's see what healing messages we have for you, Libra. Twenty-nine changes, transformation, all coming together in a circle. The sun, do you see it all? It's all in this card, right? Also comes down to an 11. And you know, you have 11, 11. You might be dealing with a twin flame here, guys. 42, joy. Oh my gosh, I just flew and threw that card down here. <laughs> Look at this, joy. Again, two, two butterflies in here. Transformation, you both are evolving. 15 honoring your energy again they're showing the sun honoring your energy comes down to a six meaning there's balance here but this also tells me if you're very gifted you got to be grounded okay and being confident and trusting yourself and your gifts but it's also stating to make sure you're grounding yourself make sure you're taking care of yourself that you're receiving that you're honoring your own energy not putting it all out to others, right? This is a really cool reading. This is a really cool. I really would love to know who this resonates for Libras because this is transformation in a huge way. And I feel like this other individual here, even though you're claiming independence, this is about growing into your authentic self. This person sees you that way. They see you that way. And they're growing too. They're growing too. All right, Libra, if this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, comment below, and don't forget to hit subscribe, and I will see you next time. Take care.